couldn't save up enough money, often ending up the month with a bad check? If you want to take control of your spendings and achieve your financial goals, you need to start planning your budget. A personal budget is an essential thing for healthy money management. It helps to track and analyze your money flow. I know, it may sound boring and difficult, but this helps you in achieving your financial goals. We are starting a series of three videos that will help you master your budget. We begin with tracking your spendings and income, then plan a budget and finally learn how to visualize your data. Dishes is a great multifunctional tool that can help with planning the budget. It is a good alternative to different financial apps that often have to be paid. In this video, you're going to learn how to work with the budget tracking templates, follow your personal income and expenses, use different Dishes functions, transfer data from one sheet to another, plus a few hacks to work with dishes more effectively. Also, you can download our template by visiting the link in the video description below to start tracking your personal budget. The first and the main step to begin budgeting is to start tracking your money. By doing this, you will get all the necessary information about your spendings and income, which you can use further as the basis of your budget. This should become your daily routine, since budget trackers help you to stay on track and not overcome your planned budget. Here is our template. As you can see, it consists of several sheets. We will start with calculating an income. The structure of the sheet will be like this. Date, description, category, and finally amount. Before we start entering the data, let's format the columns with dates and currencies. For the first column, we want to apply the date format. Go to Format, Number, and choose the date here. For the last column, we apply a currency format. Go to Format, Number, Currency. We got dollars by default, but if you need to switch to another currency, go to More Formats, More Currencies. Now, let's define the sources of your income and sort them out or arrange into categories. We go to the sheet named Lists. Here, we enter the categories for our expenses, each group in a separate column. For example, you have a steady job and get a paycheck twice a month, and also you have a hustle job from time to time. That gives us two categories, paycheck and hustle job. Define your own category that suits your case, and don't forget to add here your passive income, such as dividends or rental income. Now go back to the income tab. In this column, we add the categories that were defined as the income sources paycheck and side hustle. To assign categories, we create a drop-down list. Data validation is a feature that helps to create one. Select the whole column here without the first cell as we did before. Click Data, Data Validation. In the criteria field, select List from a range. Now click on this sign to select the range. Go to the sheet named List and select the whole column with the categories. It allows you to add a new category later that automatically appears in the drop-down list. Click OK and don't forget to check to show the drop-down list in a cell. Now the cells have a downward arrow. Click on it to see the list. At this point, we are ready to start entering the data. Here you add the dates when you received an incoming transaction. A useful tip for you here. To get the current date, use comment plus semicolon shortcut. Now in the description column, enter a comment with the details if you need to. Let's enter here the paychecks that we get twice a month. In the description we can add paycheck 1, paycheck 2, they both will be $1100. And then hustle job, for example project 1 that gives you $250 a month. So we are through with this stage, but before we go to the next tracker, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It helps us to reach more viewers here on YouTube. The following sheets have the same structure. They are already filled up with data, so let's take a closer look. Since we know our income, we can move to the next step and calculate our fixed expenses. These expenditures are mandatory and don't vary from month to month. It can be a rent or mortgage, student loan payment, car insurance, etc. We can also include utilities here. Next, we have the expenses that are essential for us, though they can vary. In our template, we have groceries, gas, public transport, and medications. Feel free to define your own categories and add them as well. To be more accurate in the beginning, we advise you to track your variable expenses daily. Let's move on to the main point of budgeting and define our financial goals. It can be either a short-term goal, like a vacation or a new cell phone, 
or a long-term goal, such as your retirement savings. If you want to save money, an emergency fund is the best starting option. This fund should cover around four categories of your monthly expenses. This money helps you to deal with unexpected situations in your life, loss of a job, health issues, etc. Let's assume that for now we haven't saved any money. And the last one goes to your personal expenses, money you spend on your wants. And sometimes it can be the most significant amount. Here we have eating out, entertainment, clothing, gifts, different subscriptions, gym membership, hobbies, etc. Finally, we total our monthly income and expenses. Now go to the sheet named budget. Here we have a column with the list of all our spendings and income. And now we transfer the data that we get through tracking to the summarized list. In this column, we want to get total amounts by each category. For that, we use the sum of function, which allows us to sum values that meet certain criteria. If you want to master your skill in sum and sum if functions, watch our previous video. So let's get the total income from the paycheck category. Enter equal sign, sum if, open the parenthesis. First, we need to specify the range that will be tested. Take notice that the range is located on another sheet, so we need to transfer data from one sheet to another. You can just go to the specified sheet and choose the column that contains categories or manually type the name of the sheet with an exclamation mark at the end and then specify the range. The second parameter is the criteria that will be applied to the range. In our case, it will be paycheck. You can enter a text string in quotes or use a cell reference which contains the word. And we will find out in a minute that the second option is more convenient in our case. Finally, we enter the range that contains the values we want to sum considering the criterion. We enter income, exclamation mark, and the reference to the column with the amounts of our income. Close the parenthesis and hit enter. Here we go, now we summarize only our income from the paychecks. To know what income we actually have from a side job, we can enter the formula all over again or just autofill the cell by dragging the right corner of the previous function. But first, let's modify our formula. You would need to log the range references, because they are the same for each criteria. Just press F4 to do this. Now we can just drag this formula down, here we go. After that, you can copy this formula to the next rows. The only thing you need to change would be the name of a sheet from which you want to transfer data. So here it will be fixed expenses and so on. Take notice that if the sheet name consists of several words, you need to put an apostrophe before and after the sheet name. Now, having all sums by categories, you can total our monthly income and expenses. Let's add a cell with the sum of our income. For that, we will use the sum function. Enter equal sign, sum function, open the parenthesis, select the cells above and close the parenthesis. Further, you can add as many lines as you want. The formula would automatically update to reflect these new values in the total sum. Then we calculate totals of each expense that we have. At the end, we calculate the overall expenses, which include amounts from each expenses group that we defined before. Enter sum, open the parenthesis, List the cells with the totals divided by a comma and close the parenthesis. Now we can compare overall income with our expenditures. If your income is higher than your expenses, then congratulations, you are off to a good start. If your spendings are higher than your income, you need to adjust your expenses to fit into the budget. Try to cut your variable expenses first before reducing the amount of your savings. We will talk about this in more detail in our next video. That is it for today. I hope those budget tracking templates will help you define what you earn and what you spend easily. The initial data we just put together will become the further basis for your efficient budget management. Okay, so this was the first video of Railsource series on a personal budget. In the next video, we are going to plan our budget, analyze our spendings and income, and set financial goals. So don't forget to subscribe to Railsware Product Academy and hit the bell button to not miss out on our next videos. See you soon!